My name is Lizzle, and I may be from a small town, but that doesn't mean I don't have big city dreams. I'm here in LA to win a spot at the Cove. My journey as a stylist started out in a very small town where I was the only one who thought about fashion icons, looked through magazines, always wondering what was going on in Hollywood. I was very intrigued by the whole scene and everything. And I just wanted to be a part of that world. So I started designing clothes and putting together different fashion looks that included hair and makeup. Before I knew it, my mother's friends were asking me to help them with their fashions and their designs. They asked me to help them put their wardrobes together and do their hair and makeup. Well, I was so excited to do that. I felt like a real stylist at that time, being so young, of course, because I was doing what I loved. And so, you know, as I got older, my parents really wanted me to go to a traditional college to, to be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. They felt that that was an appropriate career choice for me, but I wasn't into that. You know, I didn't really want to do that. That wasn't my thing. I just wanted to do my fashion. So I begged and begged and begged my mama and my daddy to let me go to a fashion school in a beauty school. And I made a promise to them. I told them that I would get good grades and make something of myself if they gave me two years. And if I don't do a good job after two years, then I would go ahead and go to a traditional college. And I'm so glad that they, thank God that they agreed to that. You know, they told me, they said, we don't have the money to send you to a traditional college. So it's either or. If you don't go to a traditional college and you want to go to this fashion thing, this fashion school of yours, you better make it work. Because after that, if you fail out and you don't do it, there's no money left. So I had to make it work. But I knew that I was, in my heart, I was, you know, really meant to do fashion and be in the fashion world. So I didn't care about going to a traditional college. So anyway, I left my small hometown, and the school that I wanted to go to was, in, was right here in L.A. That's how I ended up here and ended up in the Hollywood scene as I was going to school. I started making a lot of friends and going out and everything. And as I learned how to really make clothes in school, I began to make clothes for my other friends and everything that I knew so I could start making myself some money on the side. And, I, you know, I had to work my ass off. I'm not going to lie to make it, you know. And I'm now one of the stop, top stylists here in L.A., and I'm able to get good clients, and I have a lot of work for myself. And so I just keep on working hard every day. It's, a, it's a, you know, it's a hustle every day. You got to make your money. And one of the things that I want to do to help elevate my career is I do want to work at the Cove. But, you know, um, you know, I've had, not going to name any names, you know, but I've had some celebrities that I've worked with on set and they act like they didn't really want me to work with them. They didn't want me to help them because of the way that I talk. People make fun of me and everything because I don't look like I would talk country, but I'm from the country. So what the hell you want? So there have been some hurtful moments here for me in L.A. People are very judgmental and it's all about your image and what you look like, how you sound and all that kind of stuff. But I knew that before I began, I came here, and I knew that comes with the territory, so I just accept it as it is. But I am going to work at the Cove, and that's something I really want to do. It's just the echelon of success for a stylist here, not only in L.A., but around the world. And people everywhere will recognize me as a top stylist, so you bet I'm going to work my ass off to get a spot there.